That's some major damage yes, out there. Yes, that is. Well, all of our snow has been long gone for weeks now, but that could soon be changing. Oh, yeah. Andy Prov Provenzano is out on the weather patio with an update on our brief return to winter-like weather this week. Look at those sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, well, sunglasses right now, guys, and we'll need them again yeah. at times tomorrow and then again Friday, but you can trade off the sunglasses for a snow brush. <laughs> come Thursday morning. Uh, we're worried about a large area of wet snow that moves through the region. We'll show you that in just a second. But the evening is just kind of breezy and cool, much cooler than yesterday. We'll start off by showing you on radar a couple of passing showers have been mainly confined to the northern part of our state, but you see a few of them near Grand Rapids, and it's possible later this evening to get a couple of passing showers to come through in northern parts of mid-Michigan. They would be brief, and then they'll all die off after the sun goes down. Temperature-wise, we're ranging in the 50s in most areas, a little more sunshine off to the south, low 60s. But this northwest breeze will start bringing in cooler weather as the sun goes down. So if you're going to the Lugnut game, whatever you're doing this evening, a better jacket's going to be needed because we're cooling all the way down to the 30s in the overnight period. Let's show you the... Uh, uh, the, not only the temperatures, but what's going on with the winds, because this is a key to all of this. Really gusty northwest winds. They will die down, but the winds are going to shift more north, and as they do, even colder weather comes in tomorrow, so we will stay in the 40s for highs for the daytime tomorrow. Let's put this all into a picture for you for the hour by hour, and you see the few passing showers off to the north. They go by, and then it's just a partly cloudy night. The rest of the night is very, very quiet. Low around 35 or 36 degrees, not too far off of normal. Northeast winds tomorrow, keeping the, the clouds at bay for part of the day. And then you see that moisture starting to move in. And as we get into the evening, we start to see some rain showers. But by midnight, all of that rain then starts to switch over to some sleet, freezing drizzle, and some wet snow. And it takes most of the night for that to move north out of the area. So while it's going to be battling above freezing temperatures, I think grassy surfaces could get a good coating with that. Uh, maybe even call it an inch or two north of Lansing when you get further north in the center part of the state. By afternoon, the sun breaks out on a very gusty east to southeast wind. We'll warm up into the 50s. Now we're waiting on a cold front that comes through later at night. And we go from snow in the morning to sun and then storms. They'll be moving across the state through the overnight period. Because the winds are so gusty, any thunderstorm can reach into the levels of the atmosphere and pull down some gusty winds. Probably some good downpours out of this for the morning rush hour on Thursday. Then that moves on off to the east, and we're back to sunshine again for Friday afternoon and close to 60 degrees, only to cool down again this weekend. We will show you that seven-day outlook, that up-and-down period. Uh, very wild and crazy forecast. I don't think we're missing anything. We've got the whole kitchen sink in it. We'll show it to you. We're back inside at 6 o'clock. I can't oh, wait yeah. for Andy's kitchen sink forecast. Yes. I just cannot wait. Get the app. I'm sure it'll be on there, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we are working on a rundown of all news stories for tonight in the 6 o'clock half hour of News 10. And Emmerich is in the newsroom with a preview. Hi, Mallory. Hi, David. A local doctor in trouble with the law tonight. What he's accused of doing just ahead. Also tonight, one township taking another step toward fixing its crumbling roads. What it's asking from its homeowners and what some are saying about it. We'll see you back here in about 10 minutes as we continue our 90 minutes of local news right here on News 10. Letters written from jail by the confessed Parkland school shooter.